Hello everyone and welcome to another video by Upgrade or Trash It. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is attempting to walk you through how to install a copy of Windows XP onto a Dell laptop. Now it's a three stage process. The first thing we need is we need an ISO image of Windows XP. Secondly, we then need to use a bootable USB piece of software for our USB stick, which will take that ISO of Windows uh, XP and actually make it work on the USB. And then thirdly, we need to actually plug that USB into our Dell laptop and load it on there. Right, so first things first, what we're looking for and what I'm actually looking for here is I'm, I'm in Google. I've typed in Windows XP 64 bit activated ISO download. Now, what that means is I'm looking for the ISO of Windows XP. I'd like it to be 64 bit and, and activated means I don't need to put a license code into it. OK, so I've actually one that I've used before is this one here you can see the address up here and i know that this is a solid iso and that it's pre-activated so you don't need a license code for it which is perfect but unfortunately for some reason the internet is down now i used it earlier today but um, now four or five hours later um, i can't get fluffnet just isn't working but if you like use that one try that one first there's the exact um, url use that and then download that and that could be and if you use that then i can personally vouch for the fact that it's safe and that it works but let's look for a backup okay and i'm going to go for this one here so i'm back in my google page windows xp 64 blah 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 and i'm going to go for this one here um Nope, that's the wrong one. As is that. So which one was I looking at earlier? Yes, here we go. It's this one here. So it's at um, archive.org, but there's the exact URL. So just use that and I'll include the URL in the description as well. And so what we're going to do is we are going to go across to the onto the right hand side and we're going to click on there's a um, white arrow with a with a blue background. Just click on the ISO image like that. And then you can see here we go. It's beginning to download. And this will take around 10 minutes, I would have thought. Fantastic. So you can see that that has now completed. And that if I go into my if I show my downloads folder, there we go. There's the um, there's the file. Sorry, here it is here. <laughs> I'm, um, yeah, this this is the one here. Um, so that's in my that's in my downloads file. The next thing to do is we need a piece of software that will turn a USB stick into a bootable USB stick. And if you've done, if you've done a bit of research around this um, topic before, then there's a variety of 
then there's a variety of these that you may have come across. One of them is Win Setup from USB, which is mentioned from quite a few people on YouTube. Another one is, I think it's called Boot to USB. Um, no, maybe I'm maybe I'm getting that wrong. Sorry, I'm confusing you. Anyway, the one the one that I use and is incredibly easy, and I use it to create not just for this XP um, edition, but I've used it for all my Windows 10 and my all my Windows 11 stuff as well. Is called Rufus. Okay, it's a free piece of software. It's teeny tiny and it's perfectly safe. So if you just you can just download it here. Just get rid of the ad, and then you can see what we've got there. Okay, at this stage, you also need to put a USB stick into your um, plug it into your computer, and it needs to be at least eight gigabytes. Now, I just got 16 gigabytes because I actually think at the moment they're cheaper than eight gigabytes one. OK, so that shows that's where my USB stick is. It's it's found it. <coughs> now, the next one here is we need to show it where the is the uh, ISO images. OK, so this is the one that we want. This is the one that we've just downloaded. OK, so this is in my downloads folder. So that goes like that. And then you can see that it's um, it's populated that box there, which is perfect. Partition scheme, keep this MBR. Don't change the target system to BIOS. Um, so the volume label, that's just referring to the um, USB stick. Make sure the file system is NTFS. And then all you need to do is just do start. And this will warn you that everything on your USB stick will be wiped. And again, this process will take about 10 or 15 minutes. So there we go. The ISO has been copied onto the USB and we can boot from it. So that's what I'm going to show you in the next part of the video. So having modified our copy of Windows XP, I'm back on the Latitude E6320 and it's time to start the install. But before then, we just need to check and maybe change one system, one setting in the system. So turn on your E6320, press F2 to go into the BIOS, and then we need to go down to the system configuration menu, click enter to make it expand, and then we need this one here, the SATA operation. Now what you want here is, can you see at the moment it's selected for RAID ON. That won't work, so we need to change it. And I'm changing it to, change it to ATA. And then we're going to come down here, click Apply, click Exit. Make sure your USB pen with, the, with XP is plugged into your computer and here we go we're going to go to F12 when it restarts select the USB storage device press enter again when you get the message press any key to 
run from USB and off we go. And for anyone with lots of experience, this should bring back lots of happy memories. Okay, so you can see on the screen in front of you are all the different partitions. So what I'm going to do is I am going to delete them. If you look on my um, screen, partition D is the USB with Windows XP on it. So we need to make sure that we don't touch that. But the rest of them I'm just going to delete. Okay, and off we go. I'm just going to do a quick format. Okay, so I'm just going to click next on, next on these. I'm just going to put in a name and then click on next. It's generated a computer name and then I'm just going to click on next. I don't want an administrator password or anything. I'm not going to worry about making this the right time zone. And there we go, that's a working copy of Windows XP. Now obviously there's lots of things that are probably wrong with it. I think a better word for it could be basic, but just to show you, I've taken the USB pen with um, Windows XP out. So let me just do a, let me just turn it off and then do a restart. So there you go, if you want to install Windows XP onto the Dell Latitude E6320, this is how you go about it.